Good morning, praise the Lord. Shalom for joining with me. My dear children of God, when we fail sometime, we say, Lord, I believe in you. I have faith in you. I go to church. I read Bible. I pray to you, but I'm not receiving the blessings that I wanted. I don't have any peace in my heart. I don't have joy in my life. Many times we have complaints and we say, Lord, why? When all others are okay, when all others are doing so good, why am I like this? This is the question some of, may, some of us may have today. The word of God is going to give you right answer. Stay tuned to us. Let us go and read the word. James chapter 1 verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Whenever you face trials of many kinds. That means trials are not one kind. They are different. Whatever the problem that you are going may not be my problem. If you may have, you may have you know, sickness, I may have finance problem. You may have problem, family problem, I may have relatives problems, I may have personal problem, all kinds of problems. Many times, trials after trials, we say, all the problems surrounded me, one after one, one after one, like waves in the sea, one after one, one after one, what shall I do? My dear children of God, the word of God says here, consider it pure joy. Consider it pure joy. Why? My brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, you consider it joy. Because, verse 3 it says, you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Testing of your faith develops perseverance. How is this perseverance? You take example. Let's take one example. There will be one plant. The plant, if it doesn't face any kind of wind, suddenly it faces wind, then it will fall. Other words, in other words, you think when it is small and it faces wind, it will stay stronger. After whenever it grows, it will face trials like winds, 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 winds. Then suddenly wind comes, it is not surprised to it because he used to it in the same way. When we have problems, trials in our lives, when we face in you know, trials and temptations in later days, it will not surprise us. Instead, they will say, I knew it. Once I have gone through it, I know it will be like this only. Because you have gone through, then now you say, yes, I know, I know, I know you say. Because you have developed perseverance in, in yourself. Today, the Lord is speaking to you. You may ask, Lord, why trials? Why problems? Why sickness? Why me? You may say, because God is allowing some trials in your life, some tests in your life so that you will become stronger and you, your faith will develop. The perseverance will grow more and more in you. In Romans chapter 12, verse 12, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Patient in affliction. Have patience in your life. If you have patience in affliction, then Think how your life is. My dear children of God, in first century apostles, whenever they have gone through persecution, whenever they have gone through problems and any kind of you know, affliction, they used to come and say to each other, See, I have gone through this kind of problem today. I praise God because I have gone through like, the, like this. Today, are you saying, my dear sister, like that? If you have any problem, for the sake of the Lord, will you be able to say, it is for the Lord, I keep my faith, I will not be worried. 
my dear children of God. That is the reason in Hebrews 10.35 it says, So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. Whatever that uh, trials that you are going through, it will be rewarded back. It will richly reward it. Job was tested. The trials, temptations, a kind of afflictions that he has gone through. We see after Jesus Christ, Job has gone through so much of affliction, so much of pain. He lost everything, my dear children of God. But Job never said anything against the Lord. But he was rewarded for his no perseverance. Today, shall we have that perseverance? Tell we tell God, Lord, you be with me. You help me to be your child. Whenever trial comes, whenever affliction comes, whenever problem comes, I should not ask, why Lord, why, why me? Because you are chosen. You are his child. You are his daughter, his son. That is the reason he is preparing you. So that you will not feel very, you know, very uncomfortable when you face any trials. May the Lord help you to have that patience. Then you and me will be richly rewarded. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this devotion. That Lord, the thought that you gave to us is wonderful Lord. Many times we ask, why me? Why, why, why? But Lord, today you answered. Because you have to develop your perseverance. It has to make stronger your faith. And uh, there will be a reward a lot. I pray that Lord, those who watch this video will really richly be rewarded Lord. For their faith, for their perseverance, for the Lord, all that Lord, they are enduring for your namesake Lord. Thank you and praise you for this day. Bless this day for us, for our family, in our traveling, in our works, in everything that we do. Let your name be glorified in and through us, Lord. We praise you, we honor your name. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my dear children of God. Thank you for joining with me for this devotion. Every day, please join with me. You watch for yourself. May the Lord bless you and your family. Have a blessed day. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.